Assalamu alaikum and hi everyone. In today's video, we are going to look into demonstration and discuss further related to experiment 10 chloroplast in aquatic plant. At the end of this lesson, students should be able to prepare the slide of Elodia leaf and examine the internal structure of Elodia leaf such as cell membrane, cell wall, and chloroplast. As an introduction, Elodia is an excellent plant for our studies of photosynthesis and cell because the leaf is only a few cell thick. So, it will easy for us to observe under the microscope to look at cell and cell part such as cell membrane, cell wall, and chloroplast. Let's look into material and apparatus needed. For material, we will require an elodia plant. And for apparatus, we need cover slip, slide, filter paper, dropper, forcep, and scissor or cutter. For observation purposes, we will require a light compound microscope. For procedure, of experiment. Step 1. Each student need to obtain Elodia species leaf from the main plant and place it on a clean slide. In a step 2, student need to place one drop of fresh water onto the leaf and carefully place the cover slip on the top of the leaf. Step 3. Place the slide under the microscope and observe under scanning objective lens and low power objective lens. In step 4, turn the microscope to high power objective lens and draw what you see. In your diagram, label the structure of chloroplast, cell wall and cell membrane. Let's look at expected result in observation part. Figure show leaf cell of an Elodia species. Observation under scanning objective lens. Observation under low power objective lens. And observation under high power objective lens. Let's look at example of diagram and labeling. First is a clear diagram. Second, student need to give a title to the diagram. For example, figure 1 show Elodia leaf cell. Third, label of the diagram. Cell wall, cell membrane and chloroplast. And not to forget magnification. For discussion and question, in discussion part, Students need to describe the structure of chloroplast including thylakot and stroma and describe 
the function of chloroplast, thylakoid, and stroma. And for question part, students need to answer all questions in this section. Hopefully, this video will help you to understand the steps and procedure to conduct this experiment. That's all for today's video. Thank you for watching.